Quality pest control underpins the security of much of our wildlife here in New Zealand, but it doesn't need to be restricted to national parks and offshore islands. Urban pest control has the potential to see our gardens and town spaces filled with a diversity of birds, lizards and insects if we quite literally look after our own backyards. Here in central Auckland, a group of residents have turned that concept into reality. Don't you tell. So how did you get started with this project? I was living really close to here and um, they, I heard about this project and they were doing um, restoration and a lot of planting in the creek. We were talking about whether we could do animal work as well as plant work here because if you want native birds and native lizards and invertebrates in your bush you need to look after the pests as well as dealing to the weeds and planting things. So I was keen to get involved. I put in a funding application to the Auckland Regional Council and they funded us. They provide us with a bin to put the carcasses in and contractors who take them away. And they've given us all the possum traps and they've funded us for the Dock 200 traps as well. The two sides of the uh, creek are run differently. In St Jude's Venture is traps this side. And on the other side, we've got two teams of people who take alternate weekends and the Buchanan Rehab Centre come down and do it once a week in the weekdays. It's great having volunteers who will come back and do something every week or every two weeks that makes it quite manageable. So how did you get started with this programme? Well, St. Jude's Venture is the group I'm involved in. We used to do a trap line out of White Hackery and then two of the St. Jude's members' mother volunteered for Oakley Creek, so we found out about it through her and then since it's more local and easier to get through and more community involved, we started to get involved with it. Yeah. So with reduced pests, if your trapping works well, what, what sort of effect do you expect it to well, have? More local wildlife to come back into the area, which is a lot better than pests and rats and non-native yeah. stuff. Yeah. Have you seen any effects of your trapping yet? In the first eight months, we took out 155 possums out of here. Wow. This one kilometre. I've got virtually rats down to zero in our tracking tunnels, but because of that, the mice have gone up. And it's a bit early probably for birds to show a difference, like it's been running a year and a bit, coming up for two years. Um, but everybody's commenting on how well the plants are growing and how much regeneration there is. Um, and we've got really good wetter numbers in our little wetter tubes, so that's looking really good as well. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful little piece of bush. What are your long-term goals? We really want this to be a place where you can come and see kereroo and um, tui and more porks and kingfishers and so that, that people in the city aren't disconnected from, you know, native New Zealand. And uh, it's such an enjoyable bit of bush. We want everybody to know about it and to, um, and to use it. This is a fantastic example of no matter where you're based, you can make a real positive difference to the environment. And these fellas have really got stuck in. I know that they're going to be extremely proud when this little bush oasis fills with wildlife.